it grabs reality like nothing else I know, for good or for bad, for joy or for sadness. It's an unblinking medium at uh, reality. Artists, the good ones, tend to recreate the world for us. In some ways it's a hopeful statement. Just when you think you're tired of this old world, you know, there's a new way of looking at it. I've been doing uh, camera obscura pictures for a while where rooms uh, get converted into camera obscuras and I photograph inside of them. I remember going to West Texas uh, a number of years ago and I had the sort of the fantasy of being able to photograph there. And of course in the desert there are no rooms. So I thought, well, I can make one. And the best way to make a room outside is to use a tent. And the tent in some ways became a vehicle from which to see surrounding landscape. I have a very large tripod inside the tent with a, a periscope that sticks out of the front. The periscope allows any nearby mountains, rivers, to actually project on the ground itself. I'm not inventing anything, I'm just photographing these extraordinary realities that appear naturally. The way I make pictures now, it's always a real, a real physical challenge. So I think it matters as maybe philosophically that it is the truth. Some woman in Washington said, well, you know, in Photoshop you could do that and you can combine anything you want. I've instructed people close to me that if I do this, to shoot me in the head. <laughs> My pictures are dreamlike and surreal, but in fact, when the pictures are being made, there's a camera in there recording that dream in a very physical, awake way. And photography's power is to make even dreams seem quite concrete.